Devil Hunters Chainsaw Man 144 titled Guns, Nails, Katanas confirms the coolest looking hybrid devil, the potential reveal of Quan Chi's new girlfriend, and the Justice Devil strikes again. Real quickly, I spent the last three months on this Tsukuna vs. Gojo video, so if you're a fan of Jujutsu Kaisen, please go ahead and help your boy out in supporting the video. Now, previously, Chapter 143, Special Division entering the Chainsaw Man Church, as we see what happens in 144 with Nobana and the other students arming themselves with guns. The old man who talked with Haruka says that the weapons were granted to them by Chainsaw Man himself. And let's go ahead and debunk what I said previously in my last video that the weapons that were locked up in the basement I thought were heavily alluding and hinting to Katana Man and Reze being trapped in the bottom. And maybe that still could be the case with Reze, but the weapons, and this is where it gets confusing, are just basic weapons, not the hybrids. So just for the sake of this conversation, potentially going forward, let's just call the hybrids the hybrids, okay? There's a police officer standing outside Side and has directed Special Division 7 to enter. One from the front, one from the back. Soon enough, a fiend bursts into the room, remarking how the majority of the cult is comprised of children before stating that they shouldn't be holding any gun. This new fiend that emerges makes quick work of the students. So what an entrance of a brand new devil in the world of Chainsaw Man. And I'm gonna go ahead and say it's a woman because of the public safety attire looking more high-waisted and kind of what they do where they put one hand to the side of them, which can only mean one thing. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we just found out the reveal of where Novara was in Jujutsu Kaisen this whole time. She somehow actually got transported into the world of Chainsaw Man due to the merger that Kenjaku has laid out during the calling games. And this is why Novara was missing. Hammer as a weapon, check. Nails as a weapon, check. Open exposed brain, why is that? Well, if you caught up to the Shibuya incident, if you know, you know. Obviously, it's not Novara from Jujutsu Kaisen. But anyway, back to Chainsaw Man. I'm going to go ahead and hypothesize right here that let's just call her the Nail and Hammer Fiend. She works with Public Safety Division 7, and I think it would be pretty hilarious if we find out that this person is actually going out with Quan Chi. And why do I say that? Because now we know Quan Chi more or less has a type with open exposed brains, that being Cosmos. Cosmos was also part of the harem. And given the quirky nature we got from this particular fiend, I think it would be a nice touch. Now, some people might think this is the Cosmos fiend. No, I don't think it's the Cosmos fiend. I think this is a brand new fiend. The nails on the brain, hammer as the weapon. I think it's safe to say he's just a, a brand new fiend all entirely. But what's more interesting is what happens soon after as we see the reveal again of the Justice Devil. The old man remarks how he despises public safety for selling their souls to the devils and that the only appropriate countermeasure would be to fight fire with fire and become a devil himself. Becoming another host of the Justice Devil, he attempts to strike at the fiend. All right, so there's actually a lot to discuss here. Now, I don't remember if this was implied after the Falling Devil arc, if we were hinting at the Justice Devil heavily working with Fami and whatever the Chainsaw Man Church was trying to do. I think if there's any indication that's heavily applying that, hell, even outright confirming it, the Justice Devil is indeed working with Fami, which again puts more things in retrospect into how far into whatever Fami was cooking up in the beginning of Chainsaw Man Part 2 before Yoru even got a hold of Asa. But not only that, this is the third W the Justice Devil has taken of public safety altogether. The school president in the beginning of the story, Yuko, eliminated by the hands of Chainsaw Man, and now the third time by Katana Man himself, which we'll get to in a bit. But look at the design of this guy morphing into the Justice Devil. The characteristics, much like the previous two, look the same, right? With like the long tentacles, the female characteristics. And what I mean by that is look at the leg at this Justice Devil. It's like the feet are modeled after like a high heel. Now, could that come back to something or even allude that the Justice Devil herself is a female? Well, I wouldn't put it past Fujimoto considering how much he loves strong females, whether you're a four horseman of the apocalypse, Chef Ma, me Santa Claus I can go on all in all this gets me excited because seeing the Justice Devil pop up again like this annoying little pebble on the back of your shoe can only confirm that the implications of the Justice Devil and once again on the macro level of the thematic elements in Chainsaw Man part 2 of justice identity freedom enslavement is brewing into something really exciting speaking of justice if people thought that that was the cursed devil who said justice question mark I hate to spoil it to you it's not the cursed devil but as a matter of fact it's it's Katana Man. And considering the hybrids were slowly revealing themselves in the past three to four chapters and the title of this chapter had Katana at the end of it, it doesn't take Einstein to put two and two together that Katana Man was definitely going to show up in chapter 144. And despite working for Special Division 7, it seems like there's some animosity he still has with Chainsaw Man because he says there is no such thing as justice with Chainsaw Man. And what's the justice that he's probably alluding to? Well, the justice that he took away his grandfather from the 
defense of part one and all the zombies now to see that turnaround is quite interesting but something tells me that he's just begrudgingly a part of public safety due to whatever leash Kishibe is holding on to him and if it's not that it doesn't matter because I still like knowing that Katana Man, Quan Chi, and most likely Reze which we'll talk about in a second is at least on the good side of things with the whip the flamethrower and the spear hybrid maybe still somehow being controlled under the likes of Fami because when you look at the Chainsaw Man church as a whole obviously it's easy to brainwash and manipulate kids the old man being contracted with the justice devil indirectly hints at the manipulation that the justice devil has had in all of this on top of Fami herself saying that she can control whether or not the nuances of that means physical emotionally etc and could Reze be evil yeah Reze could be evil but it seems like the way these things are panning out is that Reze is going to be a part of public safety considering the relationship that she's had with Denji in part one regardless there's still people thinking I'm on copium well guess again Reze is without a doubt going to show up and of course the best is saved for last because Fujimoto knows that she is the most beloved hybrid out of all of them but that aside public division seven has some strong people on their team Fumiko who's a mystery but considering how strong everyone else is she probably has like some ridiculous devil contract Wanchi, katana man this new nail and hammer fiend yoshida could be spearheading the whole team or be a part of it and if you add reze those are some of the most powerful devils within the entire verse of chainsaw man which can only mean if they are looking really good right now making the church look like fodder cannon then you know the upcoming prophecy is gonna be all the more dangerous with whatever devils fujimoto is cooking up in the near future but to discuss more about chainsaw man chapter 144 we're gonna have a live discussion which you can go ahead and click right here.